Back then, I was never the type of person that would not be involved in new things, such as sports or activities. I was always the shy person because I never really talked to anyone, and I would think that people would criticize me in any form of way, like judging a book by its cover. I really had low self-esteem, and I thought that I would never meet someone that I can relate to. Like I needed a companion, but I still couldn't find anyone. I still felt that something was holding me back, that I couldn't get along with other people. Not being the brightest kid, it made me feel really horrible, but I was still looking. Towards the end of my sophomore year, I met a girl and she was nice. I wanted to say hello to her and introduce myself to her, but I was too shy to tell her anything at all. Then one day she asked me out to prom because she told me that it would be nice if I would go out with her to dance. I said yes because I thought she was nice and talented and she was very creative as well. I took her to prom and we went to a restaurant that was called Flying Bow. And then we were talking about our past and how we can relate with some things. Before we arrived to prom, her and I took a picture together and she was smiling all the time because I was there by her side. When prom was about to end, like in those last minutes to make a move, she asked me if I wanted to kiss her. I said yes because I, even though it was weird for a girl to say that to you instead of the guy. But to me, I felt really great about myself for the very first time. I actually felt the high school experience kids were mentioning about that they would want to have. Ever since, I wanted to ask her out, but instead I waited for the right moment. I asked her out a few days later to be my girlfriend, and it was official that her and I were dating. And not only that, I felt that she was the one. We shared so many stories together, and there was even a time where she needed help with something. I was actually there to help her, not because she asked me, but because I really wanted to. I felt comfortable inside and we would respect and trust each other no matter what, how much we differed. We would even say that we loved and cared about each other. It was during the summer when her father kicked her out of her house because she didn't follow the rules and got treated horribly. Her father told her to cook food for her little brothers and sisters, and she couldn't do it because she was busy doing her chores that her father asked her to do earlier that day. I knew I had to do something about it, like standing up for her, but I knew I needed to keep my mouth shut as well. I told her that her father was wrong, making her do something after another, and she, should be, she shouldn't be treated like a slave at all. As soon as I heard that from me, he was furious about what I said, and he told her to pack her clothes up and move in with her mother in Sacramento. I felt bad because she was crying and was scared because she didn't know what to do at that time. But it was better for her because she shouldn't be treated like a slave. She started crying because she was moving away from me. She wrote me a letter saying that there would never be an official goodbye. As soon as I heard that from her, I felt that she was really hurt and I needed to try my best to help her. We communicated every day. There was never a day where she would not call me, and we would promise we would see each other as soon as we got our own driver's license. We needed to see and spend time with each other. One day I was coming home from work and I wanted to call her and tell her how her day was. Then I heard the most depressing thing. She said that she needed to break up with me. I felt bad deeply because I knew that I did something wrong as soon as I heard that from her. I told her that we couldn't break up because we've been through a lot of things together. She told me that it wasn't the same as before, that she failed a class and she needed the time. I told her that I was wrong but then I said I needed to be reasonable and I told her I understand. A week later we started dating again but it didn't feel the same as before. She was the one that broke up with me. I've been thinking it over and over. I told her that we shouldn't see each other anymore because I thought she wouldn't want to see me anymore. At first I thought it was the right choice to do, but then again I didn't want to lose her again. I felt bad and worse than before and I even cried for her. I don't usually cry at all, but I felt the strong emotions that she was having and also hurt me as well. I had strong feelings for her and I knew I'd done such horrible things to her. She would cry and she would want to leave the scene because I would get, it would get even worse for her and I. 
I needed her for, to forgive me, and I told her that I was sorry. But it was too late. She found someone else. Because she needed to forget everything. At first, I felt angered inside, like hurting people for no reason. But I told her that she should be happy and let go of the past. I told her to forgive me. And it's true because I didn't want her to feel bad being with me. Instead, I let her go. She had to make a right choice whether she wanted to be with me or not. But one thing for sure is that I didn't want to force her into doing something she should not be comfortable with. I didn't want to make her into something that she's not. I let her go because she needed the space and time, but most importantly, I let her go to be happy again, to not suffer with me. I learned my lesson is that you shouldn't force love because things will eventually change throughout time, and I needed to move on as well. I believe that just because I've been in a breakup, it doesn't mean that the world is going to end, that life has no meaning. I believe that forgiving them is what matters the most, because life keeps on moving, changing, and whether you are successful or not, your lives are worth the most, and cherishing them would give you the life you want to live, the potential to learn, and the ability to succeed. I believe in respect, treat others how you want to be treated, and always trust and be honest with your people you loved and care about, because losing them would be probably the worst event that could ever happen in your life. To me, it's an experience because I learned that I should have done better. I should have really put my time and effort. I believe in forgiveness because it's one of the strongest qualities you can ever have to become a better person. This I believe.